Yeah, I, I'm not a neuroscientist, but uh, most of the functional properties of the neurosystem are based on chemicals. The transduction of signals, the action potential, all these phenomena are basic chemicals, and in fact, even very simple ones. The transmitters, nerve transmitters, the action potential are based on very simple chemistry. So we are all made of molecules. All your living organisms are made of molecules, and the brain is made of molecules. The integration of all these uh, factors is, of course, something we don't understand yet. How neurons are integrated, how they function together. Uh, that's certainly one of the big uh, frontiers for the future. And, uh, I guess if I were to start again now, I might become a neuroscientist. Because even our work has started because of my interest in neuroscience. I will tell about that in my lecture, where the origins were. And so I think that neuroscience and chemistry is very closely related. There's still to build the bridge between the two. Because, you know, the training are different, different for chemists, for neuroscientists. And in the future, one should integrate that much more and have the possibility to train chemists in neurosciences and conversely. So I hope that that will happen. Because, as I said, this is our frontier of knowledge right now and in the future. Uh, the origin of our work was on the that was suggested and uh, motivated by the, fun, the action potential. It completely deviated after that, but the basis remained. Uh, sodium potassium ions and things like that. So I would say uh, we have right now uh, action, there, we have things there, because we have a small company working on Alzheimer and another one on ELS and Parkinson. So this is my side activity. But I hope maybe successful.